Look, the BBC, <laughs> what's the latest with this Gary Lineker and the BBC and its flagship football show match of the day? Lineker's going to return after being suspended last Friday for using Twitter mm. to compare the language used to launch the government's new asylum policy to the rhetoric of Nazi-era Germany. What, David, mm. what is the footballer doing talking about the government's asylum policy? Well, this is a big problem. I mean, as you know, the BBC is a state-funded, taxpayer-funded broadcaster, which is a nonsense in this day and age, but uh, it still is. And uh, it has a duty to impartiality uh, amongst its presenters uh, on news and uh, political correspondence and things, but also amongst people who are its you know, ambassadors and represented. And Lineker is one of those. Lineker has been abusing this rule for years, actually, this was the most egregious example, but right. uh, BBC suspended him and then apparently just did a massive retreat on it after a lot of pressure. But well, I mean, uh, I can tell you, I think this fellow presenters, and, fellow end presenters end. and commentators refused to work at the weekend. Yeah. So, what there's going to be an internal review into the corporation's social media guidelines. I mean, the question many are asking. Is do people still watch the BBC, David? <laughs> it seems to offer no, the same bias lot, as our ABC. Lot. What? Not a lot of people watch it anymore, and not a lot of people actually watch his his show match of the day anymore. It's not, you know, no. uh, viewer figures have tumbled. Like it's oh, yeah. boring. I mean, I mean, it's really you'd boring. Have to be right? dumb. I mean, you you'd have, have, you'd have to be dumb to compare Rishi yeah. Sunak's policy following the Australian example that said aimed yeah. at stopping boats carrying illegal would-be migrants across the English Channel with the appalling crimes of Nazi Germany. You wonder what school is Lindick yeah. went to? Accusing the Home Secretary, accused the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, of using, quote, language that's not dissimilar to that used by Germany in the 1930s. I don't know what history yeah. lessons, hey, what history lessons he's been doing. So where to for Lineker and the BBC? Well, hopefully this will uh, begin the process of the end of the licence fee and stop us having to pay for these, these people. It's about time uh, the, the whole wretched thing is broken up, in my view, and uh, privatised. But uh, yeah, absolutely, that's absolutely, another battle. All the, right, I mean, David. Now, listen. Good to talk on. to you. But today, in a few hours' time, you've got the budget, and the big thing is what's Sunak going to do about the increase in corporate tax, corporate tax rate that he brought on as Chancellor. His prime ministership most probably rises and falls according to whether he hangs on to it or gets rid of it. Is that a fair assessment? I think so, yes. I think so. Uh, he may try and fudge it in some way or other, but uh, I think I think this is the big issue. This is a Good key on you. issue. Great to talk to you, David. You can't. I can't talk to you these days without a smile on my face. It's like reality TV. <laughs> it's David Maddox. He knows everybody, the political editor. But, well, you must have spoken to all of these people. Like, you do know everybody. So someone you must know knows what Sinek is going to do. Have you got any inside info what he's going to do about this corporate tax rate? The, the latest I heard was that it was going to get delayed, but oh, who knows? I'm give, not, it to, give it to I'm Jeremy not, Hunt I'm to deal certain. with. <laughs> yeah.